a walk-in pantry and a utility room. That's the dream, isn't it? Walk-in pantries and utilities are thought of as a real luxury, but I'd always try and make one or both of them a reality. Basically, it allows people to keep mess and clutter out of the kitchen entirely. In an ideal world, you'd locate your pantry off the kitchen itself and close to the fridge so that all your ingredients are in one really convenient zone. Large walk-in pantries should have open plan shelving in order to keep your provisions really accessible. A great addition to think about is a marble core shelf, which is a great place to store eggs and cheese and willow baskets to keep your veg fresh. If you've got a small kitchen, the concept can be scaled down very successfully. It's incredible how much a well-designed pantry cupboard can hold. Choosing furniture from the same collection for both the walk-in pantry and the main kitchen will help to create an elegant, unified scheme. That said, you can also use the pantry to have a little fun, to show your personality even. A strong colour can work really well in a smaller space, so perhaps try matching the accent colour used in your main kitchen or alternatively make it a total surprise. I love seeing pantries in rich, warm colours such as ochre or terracotta. We're also currently seeing a move towards walk-in pantries separated from the main space by glass or crittle doors. So when you're planning a utility room, there are two important things to bear in mind. Firstly, the aim is to keep unnecessary clutter and mess out of the kitchen and living zones, while the other is that the space must really be functional. So start by working out exactly what you're going to use the room for and what you'll be storing in it and plan it all out from there. You're going to need a generous sink, a space for must-have appliances, perhaps your washing machine or your tumble dryer, the vacuum, the mop. A combination of cupboards, deep and shallow drawers and open shelving is usually the best way to use every inch of available space. An experienced kitchen designer will be able to incorporate a utility room or utility area into whatever space is available, whether it's combining several small rooms to create one large utility, or putting up a partition wall, or even sectioning off a corner of a room to create a dedicated new space. If the utility is mainly used for laundry, I would recommend trying to work your floor plan so that the utility is upstairs near the bedrooms and dressing rooms. In the UK, we tend to carry our laundry downstairs, wash it, then take it upstairs again, whereas in the US, everything is kept on the upper floor. If this isn't possible and your laundry room is next to the kitchen, think about having a laundry chute to whisk the laundry down without it having to be carried through the kitchen itself. If the utility is located off the kitchen, think of how cabinetry in both rooms can complement each other. So perhaps you could echo the colour and finish of the kitchen cabinets or the flooring, or carry through the accent colours and materials. 